Welcome back scientists. Let's get right into activity two. Here is a page that you'll see in the book we're going to read in our next lesson. Right now I'll read the last few sentences of it that are underlined, follow along with me. Hurricanes, blizzards, and lightning are all natural hazards. These types of weather are more common in some places than in others. Even so, almost every place has some kind of natural hazard. So the text says natural hazards are more common in certain places. So far, we have mostly thought about patterns of weather that happen over time. In other words, we have thought about when weather happens. But I wonder if we can find a pattern to where different types of weather happen. We are going to use a digital tool today to see if it helps us notice a pattern to where natural hazards happen. Here are a few important parts to notice. Right now on your screen, you'll see a lot of different colored sections on the map. These do not represent states, but rather groups of states or regions. Alaska and Hawaii are at the bottom of the map on the left-hand side. Map makers usually put these two states on the side since their land is not actually connected to the other 48 states. But be careful, their size is not represented to scale either. Hawaii is much smaller and Alaska is much bigger. Now let's look on the right side. The blue blizzards, hurricanes, and lightning icons show us where they should be placed when we move them. But the red icons at the bottom for future natural hazards do not. Now I will click into the tool and we'll practice. Here we are in our tool. First, we're going to place each blue symbol in the region that matches the label that pops up. Then we're going to place each red symbol to show if we can make predictions about where future natural hazards could happen. So this says 10, and this is from a blizzard of 8, 1980, or 1888 from March 11th. Another blizzard in 10. A blizzard in 5, Minnesota's storm of the century. A blizzard on January 25th, 1978, the Great Blizzard of 1978. Number three, Schoolhouse Blizzard. Number 11. Another one in number five. And another one in number 11. Now let's look at our hurricanes. Hurricane goes in number 11, also 11. Gonna be a tight squeeze there. Hurricane down in number nine. Nine. Number seven. Number nine. Number seven. Number nine. And now we'll do lightning. Lightning goes in number nine. Number nine. Number nine, so much happening. Number seven. Number six. Number eight. This one says it's the longest ever lightning, about 322 kilometers long in Oklahoma. Wow. And this one is at the Gateway Arch. It struck two times. That's in part six. Now, I'll move myself a little bit, and we will do the future natural hazard. So now is our chance to make predictions. Already, if you look across the screen, I bet you have some ideas of where blizzards might happen, where hurricanes might happen, and where lightning strikes happen. So let's choose a blizzard. Now, if you had to guess, would you want to put it down here? Over here? Or maybe what about right up here? It looks like it might fit there. For the hurricane, would we want to put it in the top, somewhere in the middle, or maybe it looks like somewhere right along this area. So let's add one right there. And for lightning, I see the most lightning here. That must be a pattern, so I'm going to add one right in number six. Okay. So now we are going to take this map and look back at it and start to analyze some of the patterns. Let's talk about the patterns we notice on the map. This map is not the exact same as the one we just made, but it is a screenshot that helps us see some patterns. As I ask you questions, you can always pause, 
write down or say your own answers. Let's look here at one that's a little bit bigger and clearer for you. So let's just think about blizzards. What do you notice on this map about where blizzards happen? I noted, for example, they all seem to be near each other up at the top of the map. Each time a blizzard happened, it happened near the top of the map. So there's a pattern to where blizzards occur. Did you notice something similar about hurricanes? How about lightning strikes? They are both also grouped in a pattern. Hurricanes happen mostly at the bottom of the map and lightning strikes happen mostly in the middle. So how could you have predicted where each future natural hazard belonged? Remember when we did it, I was careful to make sure that I placed them near other natural hazards of the same kind. That way we used a pattern to help us make predictions. Now I want you to focus in on Florida on our map. That's in region nine down at the very, very bottom right of the whole map together. If you live in region nine, will you ever be in a blizzard? Now we may not fully know, but we could guess it's not that likely. Probably not. It could happen, but probably not. The other types of natural hazards that we do see there are lightning strikes and hurricanes. So if we look at the pattern in that region, it would be those two natural hazards that would happen. Understanding where certain natural hazards happen will help us work with the Wildlife Protection Organization. Stay tuned as we close out our lesson in the next video.